What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at a cold case and one that's really not been covered at all guys and I find that absolutely appalling. Today's case is taking us all the way back to 1991. We're going to be looking at the case of Tina Michelle Priest who is missing out of Lawton, Oklahoma. And when I say this case hasn't been covered, I'm not talking about just recently, guys. I'm talking about all the way back to when Tina initially went missing. There's been no media coverage of this case at all. And this is a young lady that has been missing now for 32 years. She was only 19 years old at the time that she went missing. However, she would be 50 years old today. And... Her family's just completely devastated, guys. So, Tina went missing on the 4th of August, 1991, out of Lawton, Oklahoma. Her maiden name is Smith Peter, and she sometimes uses the alias of Camille. Sometimes she uses the last name Flood. She's 5 foot 5 inches tall, and at the time of her disappearance, weighed 145 pounds with brown hair and green eyes. Her last known location was Lawton, Oklahoma. She has very long, straight brown hair. Um, she does have a tattoo on her arm. It's a rose design with the name Camille. And then on her left arm, near the shoulder, she has a yellow happy face tattoo with a red bullet hole in the forehead. She was wearing shorts, shoes, and a shirt and socks when she disappeared. We don't have a whole lot of information on this case, even. Uh, but we do know that her maiden name is Smith Peter, and she does have those tattoos, and that she sometimes uses those aliases. Now, what I was able to find, because there's so very limited information out there on Tina's case, is that at the time that she went missing on August the 4th, 1991, she was last known to have been seen in Lawton, and at that time, she was married, but it was only on paper. Her maiden name was Tina Smith-Peter. Now, according to her sister Sandy, uh, Tina had worked, you know, Sandy had worked for years to get Tina's story heard, to get someone to listen to her and look for her sister. And still, no one has seen or heard from Tina since August of 1991. At the time that Tina went missing, she had been dancing at the Deluxe in Lawton under the name Camille. However, she wasn't working on the streets and she wasn't known to have any type of drug habit. The last time Tina was reportedly seen, she had left the apartment that she shared with her then boyfriend and had not taken anything with her. Her boyfriend went to the, her sister Sandy's house trying to find Tina, all in a tizzy because she hadn't come back. And according to him, Tina had left with another man and just had never come home. Now, according to everyone that knows Tina, she has a heart of gold, and she would have done just about anything for anybody. She was the life of a party, but even though she had a small ta stature, she made up for it with a very fiery temper. Her sister and Tina were nearly inseparable, and Sandy has never quit fighting to find out what happened to her sister, as far going as far as to dig up the backyard of where Tina was last seen to go look for her. It's worth mentioning that Tina knew Barbara Berry and they had danced together at the Deluxe. Now Barbara Berry is another young lady that would later be found buried in a crate, unfortunately. And so it's devastating that this young lady has been missing for as long as she has and no sign of her remains, no sign of anything, and no media coverage. No media coverage at all. Now, it's believed that Barbara Berry's case could possibly be related to a serial killer that was active in the 90s. So, there is that information that, that we're looking at as well. Uh, so, we, we definitely need to get Tina's face out there. Um... You know, Barbara's case was most likely connected to the Cash Road killings that technically began in 1999, but she was not the first girl to have gone missing who was probably connected. And so I'm hoping that that's not the case with Tina at any rate. If it is, we need to recover Tina 
if she was murdered, uh, we, we need to bring closure to this family. It has been 32 years, guys. And I was brought this case by one of my subscribers who is a friend of the family. And I absolutely needed to cover this. Unfortunately, like I say, there's not a lot of information out there when you go to research the case. And so I wanted to bring you what we do know. So do me a favor, give the video a like. It does help more people to see Tina's face and to hear her story. If you're not subscribed to the channel, certainly consider doing so. But the main thing I need all of you to do is to share this video out. We need this girl to finally get some coverage and we need this video to go viral because surely after this long, someone has information as to what has happened to Tina and we need them to step forward. We also need law and law enforcement to take this case seriously and start doing their job because they really haven't done much to try to find this, this girl that's been missing for 32 years at this point. And so, we definitely need them to step up and do their job in this case. As always, I do want to thank you all so very much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring closure to this family after all this time.